Hey guys, happy Halloween! Happy Halloween! I'm doing another video, a recent videos, because I'm... Oh, excuse me. <laughs> I'm just going to leave that in there. I'm three years on testosterone. It's my three year anniversary, and that's what I said in my prior video that I was going to do my three year anniversary. <laughs> so, um, I started when I, I just turned 60, and I started, I think, two days after. So, as far as testosterone, I started transitioning. But before that, I got my hair cut. I was 59 and um, was getting prepared to go on to uh, the medication. But it took me a while to figure out how to do it. And now nobody helped me, not one single person. Um, I had to do my own research and do it myself. I helped you. You did? How? Yes. I've always been here. For you. No, you've been here. No, you've been supportive. And, and everything. I meant like I didn't know even my, I didn't know which doctor to go to. You know, because my primary care physician wasn't even answering me when I called and leave a message. Uh, her nurse would tell her what I wanted, but she wouldn't even. They wouldn't even call me back. So that took a while. I don't want to go back into that. Anyway, so. Yeah, it took, I just did my own, had to do my own researching and, uh, and, and get on it. So, um, and it wasn't that difficult to get on it. But I did have, I did have to pay. It wasn't free. Because actually my, my insurance actually doesn't pay for my testosterone and my visits, my doctor's visits. And so I pay out of pocket. Uh, cash, whatever, check, cash. <laughs> um, what's the main thing I want to talk about? <clears throat> well, okay, here's the thing that was kind of getting to me lately. Um, misgendering. Uh, I, I've seen a lot of people on social media, although I don't watch YouTubers that much anymore. Uh, I've seen a lot of people they're tolerating being misgendered and that kind of gets to me because they won't even say anything to the person whether it's their parents a neighbor sibling anybody just a random person um constantly misgendering them they're putting up with it or they won't even they won't even go on testosterone whatsoever because uh they're afraid what their friends are going to think, or the same thing, siblings, parents, their peers. And, 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 you know, look at me, I'm, I'm, I'm 63 years old. But, uh, you don't want to end up being 60, 63 years old, uh, because now all my memories I have to look back on are me is when I was female, I'm mean, presenting myself as female. Even though in my brain I was always male. I still presented myself as female, and those are my memories, except for the past three years. But I'm going to have more past memories of being the person, the gender that I really didn't want to be, more than the gender that I am now. So, for you, for those of you, that's my advice to you would be just get right on that and try um, not to worry about what your friends are going to think. Because they're not living your life, you are. Exactly. And you I'm not trying to, to and, I'm try, and I'm not trying to push this on anybody either. I'm only trying to give people a little bit of nudge, you know, a little nudge that, that are afraid to do what they really want to do. I'm not saying do it if you're not sure you want to do it. Definitely don't do that. I'm just the opposite. No, if you, I'm that way too. You have to be a hundred percent sure you want to do it because you know what? Um, if you're, if you're, any thoughts of, like, because you want to do what everybody else is doing doesn't mean you're doing it right. 
plus all the all the medical the hospitals are getting filled up with people who either they don't even know if they want the operation or not the hospitals are getting filled up and uh, they're filling up the hospitals with people that are on the fence wondering if they should follow people or the hospitals don't have the room for the people that actually want to go through the process it takes a it's a long way so, yeah so they'll um, get on the waiting list and that ticks off the people that are actually transgender yes that's what i, I mean. think that's what it's it like. <laughs> <laughs> um and now there's like because i did i called one hospital in chicago for top surgeries and i'm not kidding four years and and when I said, geez, you know, why is there a four-year waiting list? And um, their reply was, well, there's a lot of kids doing it, and um, and that's fine as long as the kid that is exactly actually a transgender person, because you just don't want to get things lopped off. Because you want to follow everybody, and it's just not a. a I mean, in the 70s, when you were, um, you're either, if you wanted to go the hippie style, it, it didn't, that's, it, that was fine, yeah. because you can always change, it was easier to change back then, from the hippie to whatever. You can't change once you, um, go on the hormones. But if, what I'm saying is, if you're 100% sure, and what he's saying, if you're 100% sure, you are. Your brain is male. Yes. But you're just afraid to start your transitioning because you're afraid. Not afraid of that you're not really that um, transgender, but you're afraid of what people will think, including mom and dad. Then you don't want to, like I said, be like me and wait. But then, you know, I waited a long time too. Um, because it wasn't available to me, which I've said in my other video, uh, where somebody said, how come you're not saying when you, uh, why you transition, I'm like, it's in a different video. But, um, yeah, that gets to me. Like somebody, example, somebody said, well, their wife, didn't, they were lesbian, so they're saying they wanted to transition in, from female to male, because that's how they felt inside, that they were male. But the wife, told her or him or, uh, what they were going by at that time, I think they were going by female at that time. So the wife told her, I know I'm going to leave you if you turn into a man. And so they stayed together 20 more years, like 20 plus years, until the wife that was against it went to her and said, you know what? I've been uh, reading books on it and watching videos and get some information. I think you should go ahead and transition. Now the person is in their mid fifties, saying, "I gotta hurry, hurry, hurry. You know, get my operation and get on my testosterone." And and they actually did, but it just kind of got to me, and that's their life, and they can do what they want with it. That they didn't do what they wanted to do with their life because somebody else's opinion, somebody that meant a lot to them, of course, a spouse. Um, and kids are afraid that are even 18 because they don't want to be disowned by family because they feel that's what's going to happen to them. Uh, you got to weigh out the good, the pros and cons, the good and the bad, like what's more important to you, what your parents think, what your brothers think, sisters, or what you think about yourself because at the end at the end of the day all you have to live with is yourself you know, all, all you have to live with is that you don't want to be older and go damn it I should have done this when I was 20, 20 years old I should have done this you know when I could have done it and now what now what you know now I'm miserable but if you think your friends are making you happy and that's all that makes you happy is your friends and family and then don't do it. Don't do it. If that's more important to you. And don't do it if your friends are doing it and you're you don't know if you want to do it. 
um, just because everybody's doing it doesn't mean you have to. Do yeah, it. he thinks well. that there are people that are going on hormones because it's a trend, and other uh, there's other transition people that don't agree. They don't. They say no, you wouldn't do it unless you were transgender. But I kind of tend to agree with Aaron here that there are a lot of people that just lost and they're not old enough they don't know who they are yet they want to be someone with the rest of the they family. want to be cool or you know if you're a tomboy and yeah i was a tomboy but they think because they're a tomboy i must be trans and that's not necessarily the truth because a lot of tomboys do grow up you know feeling playing like a boy or feeling masculine so it, it's it's all kind of complicated um I always say if you're not sure then wait and if you don't want to tell your parents um because you're still living at home and you'll get kicked out and you don't have anywhere to go then I would say wait until you find a place to go you don't want to be homeless you know yes, but, you have to think on your own discreet what what yeah I know that if I could have transitioned when I was of age, I would have done it. I because I always felt that I was now. And my oh, hold on, my cat's trying to get. My mother even knew, and she passed away when I was twelve. And, but she she knew. I mean, we didn't know what it was or what to call it. Um, but she she already knew. And she even knew, uh, she knew better than to try to get me to try to be a girl. Although she did attempt to do it once, and I allowed it. And I thought back, why did I allow that? Um, because I understood her. She said, let me put your hair up in a bun and curl it. And I was like, oh no. <laughs> like, I can't believe she even asked that. And she said it with caution, too. And then she begged me a little bit, yeah, come on, I just, I just want to see what it looks like. And I did it for her, so I said, okay, I just to see what it looks like, she talked me into it, you know, I'm a, I'm a kid, so. But she, she did, she, she put it up in a bun, and she, I think she curled it in curlers, I do remember that with curlers on the top of my head, looking in the mirror like, ooh. <laughs> and then she put it up in a bun, and she goes, oh, I like it, and then I just, I was a brat, and I and I had a fit, and I jumped up and down. So I get it out, get it out, like uh, like washing my hair out, and then she did. I remember she was like, "Oh, okay, oh, calm down, calm down." And she got my head under the faucet and tried to drown me. And there uh, goes the curlers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and she never tried again. She never attempted again. So, um, yeah, so I wish that they had hormone blockers, hormone blockers, when I was a kid. Um, yeah. So I guess what we're saying is, if you're 100% sure you're transgendered and you want to transition, don't stop yourself because you're afraid of what other people think. And if you're not 100% sure because you're not sure if you're trans, please don't start. Uh, because there's no hormones. turning back. I don't care if you cut your hair or you dress like a boy or you dress like a girl because you're male, male or female. You know, that doesn't bother, that shouldn't bother you whatsoever. It's if you go ahead and start taking the hormones, those changes are irreversible. And you've probably heard it a thousand times from other people on social media, but now you're hearing it from me. I hope that helps. So, anyway, we're going to go. And I just wanted to say, um, I just want to get on here because it's been three years. And, uh, as far as my changes, there, um, you have to go to my first video. And even in my first video, that's not really the way I look because I used to wear, like, you know, some makeup. <laughs> so I did actually look better as a female than in my, my first video. That's just what I look like, kind of. Now makeup and I just had my hair a little in a weird 
cut, clear cut. So, um, anything else you want to say? Look at me, I've never worn makeup in my life. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then look at his hair. Yes, it's all over the place. He doesn't care. I always ask him, you know, are you going to get your hair cut? And he says, no. And then one day he said, I, I'm trying to get my hair cut, but I can't find a stylist in town. No, it takes like three weeks to get an appointment. Yeah. Three weeks or a month. You live in a small town and it looks. Uh, yeah, well. It feels I, like you live we in gotta a city. We've got to move back to Los Angeles. Oh, I had just my top surgery. I can see a little bit better. Um, when are we moving to Los Angeles? Well, we said we weren't going to move back to Los Angeles. No. Until the pandemic was over. And it's over. Because there's too many homeless people and uh, it's not over. What do you mean it's over? Oh, you said when it's over? Yes. Pandemic. It may, and if it's never over, it, 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 I, I don't know because I want to get back into acting. And I just can't, not, can't do it here. We're living in a small town, this house. Well, there is uh, something downtown that will shake the whole thing. <laughs> we can go right in the middle and wrap them there. And no. Have maybe one or two people walk by and. No, no I'm not oh, really. Like, I would like to get back into acting, so that's what I do. So do I. Did back you, in that. You were never into acting. Yes, I was. No, what did you do? Passion down. It was a movie. Oh, yeah. I Sorry, that. I never saw it. I, I was, uh, I was a hair model once. And a hair model? <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's just like, look at his hair. <laughs> I gotta go. Look at my hair. I was watching uh, this movie, The Rent. What's it called? What was it called? I don't know if they were the reddest. Remember it? I can't remember the name, but um, Reverend. Yeah, and and everybody had their hair like, like, like long, like it, like my long. way, all over the place. Long, and their beards <laughs> are all scruffy, and I thought I would just have been perfect in that movie. <laughs> Not as a lead, but uh, just you know, one of the soldiers. <laughs> I'd be the little guy, but. It wouldn't matter. They had short guys. They had short guys back then too, right? I would look good in that what the that Mel Gibson movie. You would look good at it. What what? Yeah, what was that? That war back movie. Back to the Future. <laughs> well, that's Doc Holiday. Yes. Doc Doc Brown. Not Doc Holiday. Oh, whoops. <laughs> right. Doc Holiday was a killer. Right. Um, Doc Brown. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, but I would like to be in a. Craig Scott. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be in a movie if they told me to shave my beard. Though. That's what happens a lot when you're an actor. You know, they tell me to shave a beard. Or grow a beard. Um, but. Anyway, we're going to go, and thanks for watching. Uh, oh, Happy Halloween. Make sure to subscribe. Because then... You're going to have to type my name in if you want to buy another video. Subscribe, like. You don't have to like it. Just uh, you, know, you always have to like it. Subscribe, like, and, like subscribe. and leave a comment at the bottom. Nice comment. No, they're not all nice. <laughs> yes, but let's let's just say nice comments. Oh. Well, yeah, if you can, they probably can't think of a nice comment. That's well, why they there comment. aren't any. That's why there aren't any, because they can't think of anything. So, no, I meant the ones that leave... Leave yeah. lots of religious comments, mm. too. I like the... the I'm kidding. No, I don't want... They're fun. And Bible thumpers. And you can be a Bible thumper. Just <clears throat> don't think that you have the right to judge. Back up what you say. And they try. It is still can't, <laughs> I still don't understand it. But, yeah. I don't care if you write something uh, religious. It doesn't have to be. It's religious if, it, if it's not loving. <laughs> well, you know, you don't have the right to judge. He gave you the right. He made you judge. God judges. Only God, God can judge me, right? That's a tattoo I'm going to get. 
I felt like this. <laughs> Only God judges. He even I don't really, tells you people not I want to judge. one tattoo um, on my arm. Right here. There's one tattoo there. And tattoos are... And the reason I don't get one on my... Oh, that was the wrong arm. <laughs> on my right arm is because I'm, I'm thinking about getting lower surgery. Getting the phalloplasty, so I, like this is the arm, this is the hand I use, so I don't want my tattoo here, and I don't want a tattooed penis. I just don't. Better than nothing, but that's not what I want. So stay tuned. Um, I'll try to keep you guys updated on uh, any new surgeries coming up. If I do get that phone call, because I'm on that waiting list. And I'll see you next year. See you later. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, so it's not right. Okay. Uh, peace as always. Hunter out and Aaron out. Aaron out.